Hey guys, welcome to Computer Science with Mr. Green. I am Vishu Kamble and in this video, I am going to show you how to configure an Apache web server. And we are going to ping that website. Like we are going to create a web server and inside that web server, we are going to host the website and we will try to ping that website from another virtual machine just so we know that the website is up and running so for that i have the tutorial on my website like this is a technical uh, technology blog that i write uh, under the servers section you can find apache web server in ubuntu so you can see all the commands from here i have also added the screenshots so i'm just going to copy paste these commands you can do the same thing at your end just copy paste them and once we are done with that we'll try to change the etc host file and try to see if the website is up so this command will install the apache to uh, package that you need to run the web server and once you have the package you need to copy the default configuration file to the name of the website that you want and the reason you have to copy is so that if you mess up you always have the default configuration file and you don't have to like uninstall and install it again to get the default file so the default file resides inside etc apache 2 sites available default and you can check that here we just navigate to that uh, location and you can see the default file that so this is the default file uh, to know to make changes into this you first need to create a backup of this and you can do that using let me first change the color of this I really don't like this color this is cool so first we need to make a backup of this so to make a backup we need to copy the file and paste it as the name of the website so like in this example we are going to name the website Yoda and this is saying it cannot copy because I am in etc and I am a normal user so I need to put sudo and run this and now you have the same file in Yura so now you can change Yura if you mess things up you can just delete it and copy this file again so to edit this file I am going to use vim so vim Yura and before that you need to make sure that you the network is running and you are connected to an IP address and you can know that by putting the command ifconfig it will show you your current IP address so we need to copy this or remember this and the first line that we should change is the virtual host 192.168.1.24 you have to write your uh, server admin address you can put it anything you want you need to change the document root uh, we will create a new website so we are going to create a new folder too and there's one more thing you need to change in this and you need to add the server name and server alias so make sure that you write it in this format only like all of this is case sensitive so and the insert mode waste a person server name is www dot yoda.com and server alias is star.yoda.com star means if you write the server alias if you like comment this out it would mean that 
it will only run on www.yoda.com and not on yoda.com the star means you can write anything here and followed by dot yoda.com will take you to the server name and that's all the changes that you need to do in the configuration file as of now and you need to make sure that the document root is like it all it exists on your file system so where www.html exists but i have to create a new folder here so let's go and do that wq means save and quit so i forgot to add sudo we were editing this file so i'm just going to copy this come out of this run this with sudo and paste it here can delete this and save and quit now you need to go to the directory cd slash var my machine just hanged i don't know why oh there you are cd slash var www.html inside this i am going to make a folder named yoda and this is the document root need to add sudo so this is the document root which means that all the files of your website should reside under yoda and that's why we specified the document root here so whenever you try to go to www.yoda.com it will take you to the document it will go to the document root check for the files and then it will serve you those files so let's just clear it cd yoda and we need to create a index.html file and we need to add sudo sudo dim index.html hit the basic tags give me a minute here and save and quit now we need to change the host file so the host file is in etc host so just come here sudo dim slash etc slash host and you need to add your email and uh, IP address here on 192.1.24 and you need to add the URL of the website yura.com and just save and exit once you're done with all this you need to restart the service and you can restart it using this command sudo service apache to restart and i forgot one thing forgot one thing you need to make the site enable and you do that using sudo a to n site yora site does not exist let me check the command for it uh it to oh yeah so it is showing me that the site does not exist let me go oh i need to go in the etc apache to sites available sites enabled and you can't see yoda here so you need to add yoda so let me check this why it is not recognizing the site 
and I guess we need to check the configuration file three, three sites available yes uh, let's rename Yoda to Yoda con F and I think this should solve the problem we are facing and we do inside Yoda. So it has now enabled the site. The problem was we didn't have Yoda.con app, we just had Yoda. So I just renamed Yoda to Yoda.con app. We need to restart the service again and uh, this command is here. So now that you are seeing OK, we can go to the website and check it once. So, and there you are, your website is up and running. And now let us try this in some other virtual machine. I have Windows XP running here. I need to change the host file of Windows XP that is located in C. Windows System 32 Drivers and etc and you need to open this file with a notepad and put the address of the virtual machine and the name of the website And we should at least try to ping it once before we start. So we are getting a reply from 1.24 which is this machine. And since we are getting a reply that means we are connected to this machine. We can try running the website now. So so there you are, this also works on a, another virtual machine and this is only because we have entered the address in the host file. So whenever you enter any address here, the web server, the your browser first goes into your local network to check if there is any uh, domain name with this name, then it will check the host file. And then it will go to the default gateway and then it will go to the internet to search for the website but since we change the host file it is directly taking the website from the host file it is directly going to this IP and this IP is nothing but our Ubuntu operating system and it is coming to this Apache web server which is going into the document root which is www HTML and Yoda and it is throwing back the index.html file which is this file so that's how you configure an Apache 2 web server on Linux or Ubuntu and just make sure that you enable this site and make sure that you edit the host file else it will go to the internet because it won't find it in the host file thank you for watching